Hello and welcome to Wild Country Adventures. In this video, I'm going to review how I made the A-pillar pockets for my Hummer H3. You can design the pockets to hold whatever you need to carry in this section of your Hummer. I just needed a place where I could stash a flashlight and a spare battery, as well as having them readily accessible when I needed them. With that said, let's get started. I'm going to start by removing the trim cap, which will allow me access to the screw holding the A-pillar in place. I'm then going to use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw. With the screw removed, I'm going to pull the A-pillar up and out to remove it. Next, I'm going to clamp one end of the vinyl to the windshield end of the A-pillar. I'm then going to draw a line along the outside of the A-pillar so I'll know where to stop my hem. I now want to measure nine and a quarter inches across, which will give me about an inch and a half overlap on both ends. Next, I'll cut the vinyl widthwise and measure the length I need for the A-pillar, which is six and a half inches. I'll then wrap the vinyl around the A-pillar and cut sections in the vinyl that'll fit into the notches on the inside of the other end. Okay, with the notches cut, I'll be adding Velcro to each notch I just cut, as well as a strip on the other end, and a strip in the middle. Now I'm going to be adding Velcro to the back of the vinyl, which will be stitched on later. With the Velcro in place, I'm going to stitch the flashlight pocket using a 4 by 3 quarter inch piece of vinyl, a 2 and 3 quarter by 1 and a quarter inch piece, and a circle piece that measures 1 and a quarter inches across. I'm then going to fold the larger piece of vinyl in half widthwise and stitch it together with the vinyl on the inside. Next, I'll stitch the circle piece onto one end with the vinyl facing the inside and turn it right side out later. I'll then take the last piece of vinyl, hem three of the edges, add a piece of Velcro, and attach it to the back side of the pocket. I'll be back when I get this sewn together. Okay, I have the top hem, the bottom hem, the pocket for the flashlight stitched together, Velcro added, and all the edges hemmed up. Now I also made a smaller pocket using the same pattern for the flashlight, and this one will hold the spare battery. I'll now go sew the pockets on, come back, and we'll finish up the sew. With the pockets stitched on, Velcro added, and edges hemmed, 
I'm going to add a few pieces of elastic between the pockets to hold anything small like a pen or a fire steel. Alright, with the pockets on, elastic added and velcro stitched in place, it's time to add it to the A-pillar. I want to start by cleaning all the edges of the A-pillar with isopropyl alcohol to ensure the velcro sticks. Okay, with the A-pillar cleaned, I'm going to add the notched section of the velcro first. I'm then going to add the center section of Velcro, making sure I pull the vinyl tight as I stick the center piece of Velcro to the A-pillar. After that, I'm going to finish wrapping the vinyl around the back side of the A-pillar and add the last piece of Velcro. Once again, keeping the vinyl tight as I wrap it. Alright, I now have a pocket for my flashlight, a pocket for a spare battery, and a place to store a pen or whatever fits in the elastic. Now all that's left to do is to reinstall the A-pillar. Just line it up and pop in the bottom two clips. Replace the screw. Then the trim cap. And done. And that's all there is to it. Quick and easy and gives you extra storage space which is much needed in the Hummer H3. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos from Wild Country Adventures.